A story about another young lady who let pride keep her from seeing that she was biting off more than she could chew. Slewfoot Sue was a spirited young gal who had fallen head over saddles in love with the most famous cowboy of them all, Pecos Bill. The first known stories were published in 1917 by Edward O'Reilly for the Century Magazine and collected and reprinted in 1923 in the book saga of Pecos Bill. O'Reilly claimed they were part of an oral tradition of tales told by cowboys during the westward expansion and settlement of the Southwest, including Texas, New Mexico. On the day he was born and raised by the wolves, and he decided to grow up to be just like the greatest cowboys in the whole world. For instance, he decided to meet his horse named Lightning. Ukulele, any time now, Bill will be riding up the Rio Grande with his herd. And when he does, he's gonna find me, Slewfoot Sue. Okay, Pete, do your thing! Uh, howdy, Bill. It's nice to meet you. Uh, pleasure's mine, ma'am. Uh, glad to have had the opportunity to rescue a young lady such as yourself. We're not throwing them, dude. When you let go of them, some unknown weirdo force makes them go faster toward the ground. Yeah! All you've got is that scary big bunny with those eyebrows! And the bushy mustache! Not to mention the most gorgeous cowgirl you'll ever meet. They call me Slewfoot Sue. And I'm here to join up with the famous Pecos Bill and his cattle drive to Kansas. What do you say to that, Bill? Well, I, I gotta ask my partners, Clem and Jake. <laughs> uh, and my horse lightning. Who cares? I think he talks funny. Where's he from, anyway? Mars? My number's, like, a lot higher. No kidding, Ton! Let's go next door and get some snackage. I guess I needed to tighten some screws. I'm not happy. Hey, lady! I thought this was the home of the best hungry! So, I got something for you. Oh, what a beautiful wedding dress, Bill! But there's one present I want more than anything else. What's that, Sue? I want to ride lightning on my wedding day. I'll let you ride my horse someday. Don't worry, Pop. While you've been in the hospital, I kept working on the monument. See? But now we'll never get our ball back. Lightning, that's no way to treat my bride to be. Now you help me say. Dig a straight line from ocean to ocean. Okay, Pete, I only got one chance before she bounces all the way to the next darn galaxy. <laughs> Ever forgive me, Bill? I shouldn't have done all that boasting and bragging and let my pride make me do foolish things. Of course. Now how about the lampshade? Can we give that up too? You know, the one in your quarters? Fancy one with little whales on it? So don't give up the lampshade? I got a letter for you right here. Check it out, bro. Ed McMahon says you may already be a winner. Stickers! Awesome! Well, that's a good start. Go on. I'm really not like that, Bill. I'm really kind of shy and modest. 
I just thought you wouldn't fall for me if I was my own self. Well, gosh, you didn't need to prove nothing to me or my horse, Sue, because I love you just like you are. Man, you guys are good. I bet your side wins. I'll tell you what. I'll let you choose how we determine whether or not you're a witch. And because Slowfoot Sue learned her lesson, <laughs> she and Bill lived a long and prosperous life together, taming the rest of the Wild West. So you see, partner, a little humility can go a long way. Because if you let your pride make you do rash things, you could end up on the moon. Or, or worse. You can't win them all. Oh. Bon appétit.